I'm joined by Dr. Susan Kahn, thrombosis specialist. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Kahn. Sure, happy to be here. I want to know from you, there's a lot of concern surrounding blood clots at the moment due to the AstraZeneca vaccine. How are you easing the population's mind at this point? So I think we have to keep in mind that um, there have been rare instances of blood clots described with the AstraZeneca vaccine. Um, and it's somewhere in the order of probably one in 100,000 to one in 200,000. Um, these are unusual uh, events. Um, and, but, but of course, if, if one uh, declines a vaccine and goes on to acquire COVID infection, especially if one is in an age group or has other uh, medical conditions that might make it a severe COVID infection, uh, first of all, the chance of a, a worse outcome, including developing blood clots, is that much greater. So I, I think that we do have to keep that in perspective. There's now been one death in Canada. Is there cause for concern, you know, in the weeks to come? So I think, of course, the fact that there has been a death and it did occur um, in, in Quebec um, is very unfortunate. And it's, it's you know, a, a tragedy that that, that happened. Uh, however, uh, that event uh, is not out of keeping with what's been described elsewhere, for example, uh, in Europe where um, again, the, the risk of um, developing a blood clot with this vaccine is somewhere in the order of uh, one in 100,000 to one in 200,000, and there have been some deaths reported as well. So um, in a sense, it was sort of just a matter of time given that there have now been uh, at least 400,000 vaccinated with this vaccine in Quebec, and I believe more than 1 million vaccinated uh, with the AstraZeneca vaccine in Canada. Uh, it's not a, a surprise that this happened, uh, of course, it is unfortunate, um, and in a way, um, you know, it's tough to say, but in a way, it's sort of the price that's paid um, when one attempts to protect a very large population against a very terrible virus. What are the most common symptoms of thrombosis, and at what point should somebody get that checked out? Thrombosis can occur in different parts of the body. Uh, the type of warning uh, symptoms would be uh, if one uh, noticed um, a very uh, swollen or painful uh, leg. So one leg, it wouldn't typically affect two legs at the same time. And if that seemed to be getting worse each day, feeling that one has trouble catching one's breath or develops pain in the chest when they take a deep breath, those would be signs of the more typical blood clots that can occur uh, in the legs known as deep vein thrombosis or in the lungs known as pulmonary embolism. Um, the types of blood clots that we see with AstraZeneca vaccine, um, in, you know, can occur those more typical blood clots like I just described, uh, but they've also been reported to occur uh, in the veins around the brain, and that's known as a cerebral sinus vein thrombosis, so kind of a mouthful, but it's basically development of a blood clot in a, a vein around the brain, and um, early symptoms of that would include um, headache, um, you know, difficulty uh, speaking, uh, maybe nausea and vomiting, uh, those types of symptoms would be very worrisome, uh, especially if they occur somewhere between five and 30 days after uh, an AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, one should definitely seek uh, medical attention. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Khan.